you guys welcome back to my channel or if you are new welcome to my channel my name is Hannah and I create college faith and lifestyle content I'm so excited because it is officially October I am such a fall girly I love cozy seasons so the fact that it's October is making me so excited so today I'm starting a new series that I wanted to bring to my channel so I want to start doing monthly reset videos. So at the beginning of each month, I will just do a reset of all the things that I feel like I need to accomplish for the month. Each month I plan on talking about my goals, the books that I wanna read for the month, planning out my schedule and any events that I have, putting those in my calendar. So some things will be different, some things will be the same, but I'm just really excited to do these videos and have a productive start to each month. So I kind of just went on my iPad and wrote down all the things that I need to do for my October reset. I'm gonna get some laundry done, wash my sheets, vacuum and deep clean my room. I'm gonna do some monthly calendar planning, write down dates and plan out my weeks in a little bit more of an organized fashion. I'm gonna plan out a new morning and night um, devotion, prayer time, Bible study routine because I feel like I need something consistent yet different for my mornings and nights. So I think I'm gonna do a little bit of thinking upon that. And then I'm going to be writing down my goals for the month of October. I wanna start goal setting each month. I feel like this is going to be very beneficial and just to be more motivated at the start of the month and really think about things that I want to accomplish. So I'm super excited about this new little monthly reset series. I hope this is some inspiration for those of you who might want to start doing some monthly resetting or monthly planning. I'm excited to see how much these resets truly change my mindset and truly help me prepare for the months to come. So I'm going to go ahead and dive into the cleaning portion of this video and then the second half we will do all the goal setting and productive planning. So I have a couple loads of laundry that I have to do throughout the day. So I have the first load in and while that's going, I definitely need to do some cleanup around here. Honestly, I have just been so unproductive, so like drowsy from just being frustrated about being sick and there's so much going on. So I kind of have a lot I need to just tidy, a lot I need to kind of just clean off like my desk and my dresser and my windowsills and stuff. So that's what I'm gonna do, which is gonna be a large like time lapse of me just kind of deep cleaning and organizing. My mom bought this Myers Fall Multi-Surface Everyday Cleaner and it smells like pumpkin spice. It is so good. finished I feel so much better about everything and just that reset part and we're going to move on to like the planning portion of the monthly reset but I'm gonna get a cup of coffee first and then we can dive into our goals and planning and all that kind of stuff So I'm gonna start by writing down the goals that I have for this month and then kind of sharing them with you guys and just talking through them. And then I'll do some monthly planning. Okay, so I've written down my top goals for the month of October. So let's just go through them. So my first one is wake up early every day. I feel like this is everyone's goal, but I feel like it's a good goal to have. I personally am a morning person, so I actually already do well with waking up early, but making sure you're in the habit of it is the difficult part. So I've kind of changed my mindset about it. There are so many things that you can be getting accomplished in that time, even if it's just taking time to do longer prayer time, devotions, maybe a longer morning routine, longer skincare, wake up better, take more time to drink coffee in the morning, whatever it may be, it is so much time in your day that personally I'm losing from not waking up early and I love quiet time so I feel like it's gonna add some extra quiet time to my life. I definitely want to try and wake up early every day. Okay, so my next goal is to read two books this month. I feel like if you're a college student, you know I'm talking about if you love reading but you just can't possibly think to make time for it, you can probably relate to this. There is plenty of time for me to read for 30 minutes a day. I just don't make time. And I personally love reading. It's one of my favorite hobbies. 
and I used to read all the time but then I start college and I'm like oh my gosh my whole life is school and assignments and trying to figure all the other life things out and I have so many books on my bookshelf that I've yet to read that I've just bought and haven't read because I just haven't made time. So I'm probably going to pull two books out and then share them with you guys and then update you in the next month reset if I finished those books. My third goal is a little bit less practical but absolutely possible if I make the initiative and take the time. I want to try to host a Bible study. At some point I want to make it a weekly Bible study but for now maybe just like once every two weeks. I want to make this a priority. I want to try to help people around my community that are from my church and from my college that commute and don't really know how to find community and just do like an intimate sweet little woman's bible study. I don't know. It's gonna be kind of like a task but I want to try to do it. So we'll see how that goes. I'm really hoping. I'm gonna be praying upon it and everything. So crossing my fingers that I make this possible. Fourth goal is to follow the plans and the schedule that I make. I, I'm a planner. I love planning. I will plan till I die, but as if I actually follow in those plans is a whole different story. But I really need to be consistent on following the schedule that I make for myself because this will genuinely make my life better and give me more time and help me follow in the time that I make for assignments and YouTube and church and all these other things. But it's a matter of if I actually follow in it. So my goal this month is to really follow in the schedule that I make. So I'll update you on how that goes next month's reset, but I'm very determined. And then the last goal that I have for myself this month is to make time for quiet time. As we know, life goes fast. We are constantly doing stuff. And I feel like personally for me, I don't make enough time to sit and just really soak in life, soak in God's creation, soak in God's presence. So I want to, maybe not every day, but especially at first, I really want to prioritize maybe like a couple times a week just truly taking 30 minutes just to rest in the presence of life rest in the presence of the lord and just be still so those are my top goals for this month i probably could come up with a thousand more but i want to not overdo it and prioritize the main things that i want to accomplish for this month so next i'm going to be doing some planning i'm going to get on my computer go on google calendar and look and see if i have any important dates important tasks important scheduling things to put into my calendar for the month of October. I always have to touch on my calendar because I feel like the color palette is so satisfying. If y'all want to know how to color coordinate your schedule like this, um, I can definitely show you. It is completely changed my life. It does help with my productivity more because I know exactly what category um, of things are on my schedule. It's been super helpful. So I went through and scheduled pretty much everything that I know event-wise that I have for um, October. And then I kind of went in and just made a basic schedule for every week. Obviously this could get changed, but I kind of just want to make sure that I'm scheduling time to do homework and schoolwork um, when I'm not in class or when I'm not doing other things. And then I kind of just went in and made a basic schedule weekly for productive time, reading time, all that sort of stuff just to plan out my days. I also have a hair appointment this month, which I'm so excited for. I don't ever do anything super fancy. I always just get kind of like a color refresh, but my cousin's getting married this month, so I made a hair appointment kind of the week of her wedding. So that will be super fun. I'm definitely going to vlog her wedding for you guys and just that whole weekend. But I'm feeling really good about how this month is set. So holding myself to it, I'm going to stay on task. And if I do so, I know I'll feel so much less stressed. So next, let's talk devotion time, prayer time, and Bible reading time, and kind of what I want to start doing daily. This can also be some inspiration for anyone who might be struggling with like how they want to do their devotion, spend time with God. Um, obviously, no pressure, not telling you how to do it whatsoever. I'm just kind of sharing what I think I want to start doing. I want to take inspiration from Cecily Bachman on TikTok. I'm pretty sure that's how you pronounce her last name. Don't quote me on that. But she actually shared her morning devotion routine on TikTok and it's just her Bible and her journal. She'll do a couple of different sections. I think the first section is writing down any worries, thoughts, or anxiety to the Lord. And then the second section is writing down things she's grateful for, any gratitude. And then she'll do her scripture reading and 
kind of just write down what she learns. I think that's how it's set up uh, from what she's reading in the Bible that day and any kind of thoughts and prayers that she has. I feel like this process is going to work well for me because it's simple and straightforward, but I'm also getting my Bible reading time in before I start my day and then being able just to kind of journal to God, which I personally do very well with. So I think that's what I'm going to start doing every morning. And then every evening, I think I'm going to do prayer time and then read a devotional so that my morning and nights are like separated in a way, but still very much getting my word in, getting my time with God in for my mornings and my nights. So I'm excited to start doing that. I feel like I've been struggling with like a routine and a process and I do well with routines and processes. So I'm excited to start that and make sure that I'm staying on that process this month. Okay, my sheets are done. I'm gonna go ahead and put those back on my bed in just a minute, but I decided to pick two books that I wanted to attempt to read this month. I might only read one. I'll be proud of myself either way because I'm getting back into the swing of my reading and I do have obviously school and other things going on. So I chose Never Never by Colleen Hoover and Taryn Fisher. I'm so excited. I've had this for so long and I still haven't read it. Um, and I've heard it's really, really good. So that's my first one. And then this one I've actually started already, but just have not gotten a chance to finish. And it's Meet Me at the Lake by Carly Fortune. I was obsessed with Every Summer After. Her writing is everything. So I'm excited to read her only second book. She's still pretty new. So I definitely want to probably start with this one since I've already started it. And then if I have extra time, um, I will read Never Never. But if I don't, I will probably just pass this on to November. But these are gonna be the books that I have for reading goals this month. I tried to look up like fall romance books and one, I couldn't really find anything. So if you have any recommendations, leave them in the comments. And I was also just like, girl, you have so many books. You don't need another book. Um, so read the ones that I have and then go from there. Honestly, fall is still November. So if I go into November, with a good fall romance that I found, I might go ahead and read that. But either way, these are my two that are on my TBR for October. So my sheets are washed, dry, and ready to be put back on my bed. I will say moving my bed to the corner of the room was a great idea for more space, but not for making the bed. That is gonna wrap things up for this October reset. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you have been looking for some inspiration to be productive and do a little monthly reset, I really hope this was that video for you. I am really looking forward to continuing this series monthly with you guys. Please do not forget if there is any way that I could be praying for you to leave those requests in the comments. If you enjoyed this video, do not forget to subscribe to see more videos like this. I look forward to seeing you guys in my next video. Do not forget Jesus loves you and I will see you soon. Bye.